Hi, my friends. It's Mr. Jermel. Welcome to our May circle time. <laughs> May, wait, May is the, is it the 10th month of the year? No, it's not the 10th month of the year. May is the one, two, three, four, five. May is the fifth month of the year. Does anybody know your months of the year? Can we start off with our first? Our first is January. Our second is February. Our third is March. You're right, my friends. Our fourth is April. And our fifth is May. <laughs> oh my God, my friends. You know what that's called? Sequencing. Huh. Putting things in order. Sequencing. We are talking about sequencing today, and we're going to talk about sequencing from the perspective of a butterfly. A butterfly. A butterfly. I was just here outside in all of its glory with my eggs. With my butterfly eggs. Oh my goodness. And I was just kind of planting them on these leaves as I go. Call me a mommy butterfly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you all know that butterflies have this series of sequencing? They have four phases. Four. One, two, three, four. And my friends and I are going to guide us through the stages. But first, I'm going to tell you some of the stages of a butterfly. First, we have a mommy butterfly that comes, right? That's not the first phase. I'm the mommy. The mommy butterfly that comes and plants her eggs. Oh my goodness. This is a really big egg. Maybe a smaller egg. Or maybe an even smaller egg. Can you all see those? Okay. So first we have our egg, then we have our larva, our larva. And our larva is when the baby butterfly, the baby, well it's not a butterfly yet, but when the baby egg starts to grow, it is called a larva. Oh my goodness. The stage where the butterfly goes into its cocoon is called the pupa. Wait, is it pupa <laughs> or pupa? One of them, it's called the pupa. It's the third phase of our sequence. And then fourth, you get the beautiful butterfly. So we have our egg. Ha, 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 ha. Anybody remember our second one? Our second one is our larva. Our third, our pupa. Our fourth, a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> oh my goodness, my friends. I got a song to sing for you. I want you to snap your hands just like this, your fingers just like this for me. Oh, I see y'all doing it. I see you doing it at home. Listen, you got the mommy butterfly that comes and lays her eggs. <laughs> That's the egg, the first phase. And then you got the larva that's the second you got the mommy butterfly that comes and lays her eggs the eggs are the first and then you got the larva which is the second and then when it gets all the way grown up you got the pupa and it's almost ready to become a butterfly and when it's almost all the way grown up. You got the pupa. And then the beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Butterfly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You got the mommy that comes and drops her egg. That's the first phase. That's the first phase. You got the second phase. 
the lava, the lava, the lava. Can you do that with me? The lava, the lava. You got the pupa when it's almost all the way grown up, grown up. And remember, the pupa goes into a cocoon most of the time. That's the third phase, the third phase. And then lastly, but certainly not least, is the beautiful butterfly. Yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I only covered two, remember? I was the egg and the pupa. No, I wasn't. That's the wrong sequencing. It's the egg, it's the larva, it's the pupa, and then it is the beautiful butterfly. I was the egg and the larva. So now I'm going to give it over to my friend whose name is Pablo. And Pablo is going to show you a little bit more about the third phase of our beautiful butterfly. Giving it over to you, Pablo. Thanks, Mr. Jamel. I'm just here cocooning. And I'm glad that my friends are here with us because I want to talk about that. <laughs> I want to be a caterpillar in a cocoon and a butterfly. I want to learn how they move. So I, I wanted your help. Do you want to try to help me and see how I can move like a caterpillar, like a cocoon, and like a butterfly. Thank you. So, let's see, let's start. How does a caterpillar move? I think they crawl slowly like that. That's it. Just, they're very slow and they crawl. But what about cocoons? Can I be a cocoon again? Let's see, I'm gonna use my blanket to become a cocoon. This is what they do. They just hang from trees and branches. They don't really move at all. That's a cocoon. And then what about butterflies? They have wings and they fly from side to side. Like this, you wanna do it with me? And that's how a butterfly moves. And that reminds me that there's a book I wanna read with you guys. I have it right here. Let's read it. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Or in Spanish, La Oruga Muy Hambrienta. So we're gonna read it in English and Spanish. In the light of a moon, a little egg lay on a weed. A cara de la luna reposa un huevecillo sobre una hoja. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Un domingo en la mañana, apenas salió el tibio sol, del huevo salió una oruga diminuta y muy hambrienta. He started to look for some food. Enseguida empezó a buscar comida. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. El lunes comió y comió, y atravesó una manzana, pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. El martes, comió, comió y atravesó dos peras, pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. El miércoles, comió, comió y atravesó tres ciruelas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. 
On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. El jueves comió, comió y atravesó cuatro fresas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. El viernes comió, comió y atravesó cinco naranjas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami. El sábado comió, comió y atravesó un bizcocho de chocolate, un helado, un pepinillo, un trozo de queso suizo, una rodaja de salame, and one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Una paleta, un pastel de cerezas, una salchicha, un pastelito y una tajada de sandía. That night, he had a stomach cake. Esa noche, tuvo un tremendo dolor de estómago. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Al día siguiente era domingo otra vez. La oruga comió una hermosa hoja bien verde. Y se sintió mucho mejor. No, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Ya no tenía hambre. Ni era una pequeña oruga. Ahora era una oruga grande y gorda. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... Construyó una casita a su alrededor. Un capullo y se encerró en ella por más de dos semanas. Un día hizo un agujero en el capullo, empujó un poco para salir y... He was a beautiful butterfly. Se encontró convertida en una bellísima mariposa. The end. Bing. And that was our book. Thank you so much for reading a book with us, friends. And now that we're done with our book, I'll pass it to Miss Gladys. Let's see what she's going to become. Thanks, Mr. Pablo. Friends, do you see this? Miss Gladys has some beautiful butterfly wings. The next step in our butterfly life cycle is our butterfly wings. So first, we had our caterpillar eggs. Second, we had our beautiful caterpillar. Third, we had our wonderful cocoon. And fourth, we have these beautiful monarch butterfly wings. Aren't these amazing? Now we're gonna go ahead and... <gasps> Wait, what's happening? Did you see that? Miss Gladys was a fluttering butterfly. I think that's the coolest thing that has ever happened to me. Now, let's move on to our next activity. Hi friends, we're moving on to our game. This game is called, Are We There Yet? But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some materials that I have for my game. And if you don't have this game at home, that's okay because we can repurpose and reuse things that we can find in our home. So here I have a parking lot to park our vehicles. If you don't have this parking lot, you can go ahead and make a parking lot using pillows, using sticks, or whatever else you can find in your home to make these six spots. If here I have my vehicles, and if you don't have these vehicles, that's okay. You can use your toy cars or some other small toys that you have in your home to park them in your parking lot, and we can be creative and use our imagination. So anything can be a car or a boat or a school bus and here i have my number die or my dot die if you don't have a die that looks like this then you can go ahead and ask a sibling or an adult to show you 
any number of fingers between zero and six, like this. Okay, so we can go ahead and get started. Here I have my die. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. And it landed on the number five. Let's count just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five vehicles that I'm gonna park. One, two, three, four, and five. And I have one spot available. So I'm gonna clear my mat off and I'm going to shake, shake, shake again. This time it landed on the number six. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six dots and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six spaces filled and zero available. So we're gonna try one more time, but this time I know some of you guys may be using your fingers, so I'm gonna use my fingers too. Are you all ready? What number are we gonna come up with? Can you all park? two cars one two i'm gonna go ahead and park one and two and i have one two three four parking spots left let's go ahead and move on to our next level together so here we are at level two and i have my number cards that are going to be my road and i have my spinner if you don't have these cards or the spinner what we can do is we can find numbers in our home from zero to ten or we can write on ten different actually eleven different pieces of paper we can write number zero number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10. And then if you don't have a spinner like this one, we can ask our adults or our older siblings to hold up any number between zero, one, or two so that we can walk forward. And we are practicing counting on. So what that means is we're not gonna start over when we count, we're going to keep moving forward. So you all ready? I'm gonna go ahead and spin and back up, back up. So it landed on the number two. So what I'm gonna do is I have my zero down and I'm gonna count two steps forward. One, two. And I'm gonna go ahead and spin again. It landed on the number two again. So we are at two, we're gonna count three and four we're not starting over we are counting on we are keeping on going we keep on going so we are at number four and we have two more spaces to move forward so we have four five and six we keep moving on friends we keep counting forward and let me count again oh it landed on the number zero. That means we stay right here at number six and we don't move. Now I'm gonna try using my fingers because I think some of my friends might be using their fingers. So let's see, we are at number six. How many steps are we gonna count? Let's count one step. So we are at six, we go one step forward to number seven. Hmm, let's try this again. Let's see, how many steps forward are we going to move? Do you see my hand? Did you get tricked? Do you think I was gonna do one again? We're doing zero steps forward. So we stay right here at number seven. Let's try again. Number two, we're moving two steps forward. So we're at six, seven, we're at seven. We're gonna go eight and nine we're at number nine we're counting on counting forward and we have one spot left hmm let's use our spinner for this one we won't know what 
number of spaces we're gonna move. Oh, look at that. It landed on the number one. So we are counting on from nine to 10. And we did it, we finished our road to 10. If you wanna keep playing on to level three, you can go ahead and count from zero all the way to number 20. Well, my friends, our time together has come to an end, but before we go, we want to thank you. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful butterfly adventure with us. It was so much fun to learn about the butterfly life cycle sequence using our ordinal numbers of first, second, third, and fourth. Now, it's time for us all to go, but before we do, we don't want to leave you all before singing our goodbye song together. Are you all ready? Adios. Hasta luego. A mis amigos. Goodbye, so long to you, my friend. Adios, por ahora, hasta la próxima vez. Goodbye, for now, until we meet again.